Hey guys, Matt with Fox Airsoft here, and I've been playing Airsoft about 18 years, and today I'm out here because I want to help make you a better Airsoft player. Now, today's lesson is really designed for a new Airsoft player who either has just recently got their gun or has only been out playing a few times. I'm going to focus on getting your gun dialed in and then also teach you how to shoot it accurately. Okay guys, so the first thing to consider when doing the drill we're going to be doing today is safety. First thing you need is to make sure that you have a full seal, ANSI rated Z87 pair of goggles with a retention strap. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my goggles on here so I'm ready to go as we go throughout the drill. The next thing is to make sure that we're doing this drill in a safe location. A designated airsoft field is a great place. So today we're gonna to be doing our drill out at Flat Acres Farm Airsoft Field. Or if you have a large plot of private land where you're gonna be able to use your airsoft gun to its maximum range and not have anyone else around, that'd be another good option for you to use. Now, the other thing I like to have as well too is some face protection. So I use my mesh mask because I don't want BBs to come back at my teeth and risk that, uh, you know, that beautiful dental work I have here. So that's a good thing to keep protected as well. Our drill today is really focused on accuracy and being accurate with your airsoft gun. Now this is something that seems really simple, but I have to tell you guys, just from doing this for a lot of years, if I get out of practice, let's say I put down the airsoft gun for a few months during winter, this is the first thing that I do when I come back and I make sure to get up to a point where I'm prepared to be accurate, and, uh, accurate enough so I can actually go out and play effectively. Okay, the drill. First thing we wanna do is we want to get our airsoft gun dialed in. Now today I'm gonna be using and Elite Force M4 CFR for this drill. So this is a great gun, especially if you guys are looking for something to start off with to get into the sport. Now, what I wanna do is make sure I have my battery in, I'm gonna get my magazine loaded, and then what we're really focused on right now is our hop-up, okay? We want to get our hop-up tuned just to where we like it. Now, every Airsoft player is a little bit different, and I have my way that I like doing it. So if you want to get maximum range out of your airsoft gun, typically you're going to tune your hop up so that towards the end of its flight path, that BB curves up slightly to give you a little bit more range. You're, you're maximizing the lift from the Magnus effect off that BB to get it going out farther. I don't personally like to tune my airsoft gun that way. I like to have it tuned where I have a nice flat trajectory and at the maximum range, it starts to taper off slightly, more like a ballistic trajectory. My reason for this is if I'm shooting at a small target at long range, I want it to be predictable. I find that that extra lift at the end just throws off my shot, and I don't find it very useful when I play. You're also going to see why today when I teach you the ranges to shoot at. Okay, so now you see me shooting here. I typically have to fire about 10 to 20 shots to get that hop up exactly where I want it. Right now I have it tuned just to my liking, and so now I'm good to go for the drill. Okay, now the drill, I call it the 30, 60, 90 drill. What we're doing is we're learning how to shoot at 30 feet, 60 feet, and 90 feet. You might ask, why do I pick those ranges? The reason for those ranges is because this is what I find is most effective for an airsoft gun. Now, most of these airsoft guns will shoot much farther, farther than the 90 feet that we have for our maximum distance. That doesn't mean that that's effective range though. While the gun may have the ability to go out to 150, maybe even 200 feet on an, uh, an ideal condition day, you really don't want to be engaging at those distances. And the reason for that is because your accuracy is gonna go so far down. What my goal is to do is at each of these ranges, I wanna strive for a 90% accuracy. If I can do that, then I know that I'm really comfortable at those distances taking targets or taking shots at small targets. That's something that's really gonna help you out to be more effective as an airsoft player. Now, first we're gonna start off at 30 feet. Now, when I go to shoot here, I want to get in a nice comfortable shooting position. As you can see right now, I'm, I'm set up, okay? I uh, go with squaring up with my target, I bend my knees, I'm gonna put some weight on the balls of my feet right there and uh, get off of my heels. I wanna be in balance like that. I want to feel my core muscles engaged as I'm holding the rifle down low. Now, when I come up on my target, I'm going to get a cheek weld that's comfortable for me, and I'm going to get a sight picture on that target. Next, I'm taking a shot. Then I'm going to get another sight picture and take a second shot. 
Then I'll bring my rifle back to the low ready. What we're doing here is called a controlled pair, where I'm gonna have a sight, three sight pictures. I'm looking at my target, firing, looking at my target, firing again, and then looking at my target to make sure that I've hit it. I want you to run through this drill about 30 times. What you're doing is building muscle memory and you're trying to go for that 90% accuracy rate. Now for targets, I like using a paint can or an old coffee can. This is a great small target to use in your environment. The other thing that's nice about that target is that when you hit it, you can hear it. So you get that immediate feedback even if you're a far, uh, even if you're at a farther range. I typically don't like to use paper targets for my own personal preference. One, because the Airsoft BB may not always penetrate it and give me an accurate uh, depiction of where I'm shooting. Now, we're gonna start off running through this drill in our standing uh, shooting position. Next, we're gonna repeat it in a kneeling shooting position. Same thing, run it about 30 times and get that muscle memory down. Now, the last position we're gonna do is a prone position. This should be where you're most accurate because your rifle should be the most stabilized. Once again, run it through 30 times, and then once you're done with that drill, now it's time to move back to the 60-foot line. We're going to go back to the 60-foot line, repeat the drill on all three shooting positions, and again, we're striving for that 90% accuracy rating. Now, the last part of the drill here is to go out to the 90-foot marker and run through the same thing once again. Now, don't be discouraged if you're not getting your accuracy rating up at the 30, uh, 30 foot line or 60 foot line. Focus on those closer distances first, and then as you get better at them, move back until you can be more accurate at the farther distances. Once we've done this drill and we're starting to get our muscle memory together, now you have a great tool. You know how to shoot your gun effectively, and you know at what range you can effectively engage a small target. This is some of the best information you can have while you're out there in the field and actually playing. Now, as you go out and play your next game of Airsoft, what I want you to focus on is maneuvering yourself into a position where you can shoot at those known distances. From there, you're gonna be able to hit a lot more people while you're out in the field, have a lot more fun.